Yo, but what if, like I said, what if, what if certain or the devil is actually the woman? Because I I what if? Anyways, before I indulge in this topic, please do welcome back to the chat with Dolphin. Please do subscribe, like, definitely share this video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're old to this channel, I love you. Anyways, from Tase, did you know that Menzu Kubani actually died at some church where he was supposedly prayed for his stroke? And the strange thing about this whole situation, guys, is the fact that the wife didn't even go and see him during the period he was there. But they only spoke on the phone, from Tase. No darling, no baby. They just spoke on the phone. Guys, you know, I blamed uh people who were calling out to this ex-wife ne? but i had to put myself in her shoes for a second right so i want you guys to help me analyze this situation so on the widow's unveiled show uh unveiled show that is on show mix she was there revealing all sort of things and it came to a point whereby she revealed that she and her in-laws don't have that strong relationship. So, guys, many people are saying who could say she wanted Menzi Gubani's money. That's why she did what she did. That's why she didn't bother to see her sick husband for approximately three months. So, but I had to put myself in her shoes again. Maybe because I'm a woman and need to give my perspective. Or I need to see where she is coming from. Guys, it's not a secret that our in-laws are, are always giving us tough times. Hence, we have shows like Abu Mama Zala on Moja Love TV. Because our in-laws, guys, are troubles. It doesn't matter if Menzi Kubani did something to her. But the in-laws, guys, they are troubles. That's what you need to understand before you judge her. But like I said, I want us to unveil this situation. So apparently, um, the guy got sick, right? And uh, they, they went, they took him to the hospital first until they decided to, the family decided to take him to a certain type of a church, right? And apparently, when he got to the church, he stayed there. And he was treated badly. But he was treated badly. He was treated badly to a point whereby he had to sleep on the floor mattress. Without even have blankets to cover himself with. That's how he had to sleep with. We don't even know if he was eating or not. But for a mere fact that he was sleeping on the floor while he had stroke speaks more volume. That's where I blame the wife. I asked myself if maybe, if maybe you could have went there and saw how you are, your, your husband was treated. Who knows? Maybe he was, yeah. Maybe he could have, you know, been saved. Maybe, yeah. Maybe as a pillar, no. We don't know, though. Hence, I'm saying, oh, good. Maybe I do understand where people are coming from at this point. Because what if? I'm just saying what if. But on another hand, guys, we have to understand that our in-laws give, give us more, more, give us, more problems than our husbands a husband can cheat husband can treat me bad but as long as my in-laws don't love me or don't approve of me then so guys it is so sad to hear how men's women passed on and how he was treated he was harshly treated where he was supposed to be you know, where he was supposed to get help, actually. Because how, how, how do you treat someone bad? 
when you call yourself a pastor, when you call yourself pastor's wife, when you call yourself congregants, when you call yourself believers, how, how do you treat someone who has a stroke harsh? It brings me to my point, the point that I always say in every video that I make. Not everyone who's going to worship God, hey, has a great heart. Not everyone who worship God, not everyone who goes to church every Sunday does. Hey, even that friend of yours who always preaches for you has a great heart. Not everyone who worship the Lord has a great heart. It's something that you need to learn because I feel like some of you don't see it. Hence, we have witches. We have uh, little king servants of, of, of the devil inside the church. We have monitors inside the church. That's why, Kering, not everyone who worship the Lord has a great heart. I mean, now you are blaming the poor woman without even asking Ngutsi why. But also to be on the safe side, guys, I would like to say this. Um, if I weigh Minzu Gouverneur's ex-wife, I was not going to leave my sick husband alone while he was suffering from a stroke for approximately three months. I was not going to do that. Come on, even if maybe he was abusing me. Even if maybe our relationship was not in the right place. Even if maybe he was treating me harshly or he was cheating on me. I wouldn't do that to anyone else. So hence I'm saying, let's not be quick to judge. Because we do not know what transpired between the two of them. But it shows Ugutsi their relationship was not in the right place. Although their relationship was not in the right place. How Menzugubani died was not fair. I wouldn't wish that to anyone else. Come on, even to my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish it to happen to anyone else. Especially where I'm supposed to get help. People go to church to get help. People go to church to get motivation. People go to church because they want to worship God. Others are still finding themselves. Others want to know what God, I mean, who God is and what do you give them? What do you give them? So I would like to advise churches out there. You represent God. You are supposed to help those who are in need. And it is so sad. Guys, where's that church? Please comment down below and tell me the name of the church because wow. Wow. Like, wow. Now the bigger picture is not the wife. The bigger picture is not the family. Now for me, the bigger picture is the church. Because they, they call themselves servants of the Lord. How, how do you let, how do you allow someone to sleep on the floor? On the floor while he has stroke come on anyways guys um thank you so much for watching engage on this video i stand to be corrected because maybe my facts are wrong but i never get my facts wrong anyways tell me what you think about this whole situation will you leave your husband to die even if he broke your life or your heart. Tell me.